What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, the garrison of Finland is sallying out to try and stop us, but that is not gonna work. Yeah, we have uh, begun... well, I think this is probably gonna be the episode that we finish our uh, conquest of uh, the Scandinavian Peninsula. Obviously we've got to balance that with other demands, such as the fact that there's now a whole bunch of angry Russians that are kind of heading our way towards Istanbul. So that could be a bit problematic, but uh, <laughs> we'll figure that out. For now... Ah, oh, poor devils. Ooh. Poor devils are going to have to deal with my artillery. Yeah, these yeah, these armies that are currently attacking Sweden, they, the goal would be to send them eventually into northern Russia. Send them into northern Russia and then we can well, open up a new flank and suddenly all these concentrated Russian troops that are pushing against me will have to find they'll have to accept the fact that they're about to be attacked from somewhere they're not prepared to defend from. So let's select my howitzers, get ready to drop some quick climb on some fools. Let's go for these engineers first because they're close. Or well, because they're doing things within range. My battle line. Just run. I've got no cavalry on the right flank, so I am going to be relying on my infantry forming squares. Plus some good old artillery fire. Thin out the centre at least. <laughs> They're charging right at us. Bold move. Let's see if we can get some artillery shots in first. Middle gun's not firing, which is unfortunate. Mm, good hits. Wild Dragoons intercept the Hussars. Excellent hits. Good. Retarget. My other cavalry continue their drive around the flank. Those Dragoons are enough to attack the light Hussars. Hey, they made contact. These are heavy cavalry. Ah, oh, it started raining. Push up my right flank. Keep dropping quick climb on some fools, especially those marines. You guys pivot. Where's my general actually? Let's bring him into the mix. Significant enemy defeat on the right flank, but we are unfortunately unable to truly take advantage of it. There's Hohenzollern and Cressier go after the grenadiers. New men are going off that provincial line. Still fighting against those hussars. We target the guns. Here comes enemy heavy cavalry. Yeah, drop all of you into squares. And you guys are lancers, so the fighting against the Dragoons is a bit awkward, but overall my cavalry are winning. Those marines would make a lovely capture. The Dragoons are coming back. Get my general to attack the Hussars because I want to break up some of these combo combats. Let's turn my howitzers into, into firing round shot. Let's hope my general doesn't die immediately. Excellent. Vow Dragoons charge into the next combat. General's bodyguard keep on moving. Those Dragoons are going to have a terrible time. They're grenadiers and they're in square. 
all my artillery fire cease fire. You keep attacking the dragoons. You're good. We've got some free cavalry here. Push most of it on towards the new front. These infantry in square. Advance in line. You men kill the horse artillery and all my other cavalry. Push towards where the enemy are fleeing from. You're going to hack down those gunners quite deliciously. You go after the marines, the line infantry. You're going after engineers, general bodyguard. Maybe you come over here and try and attack some other unit. Marines. Let's make sure that happens. To be honest, out here in Finland it's kind of much of a muchness. They're far away from being able to reinforce this front with these kind of units anyway. Okay, so you're going to escape. Okay, everyone else is going to escape. Yeah, the militia are gone. You men are likely not going to make it. There we go. But still, nice victory. We need to reinforce the front. Although actually the city may may now become ours. No, we're not this turn. Yeah, let's get the army replenished and let's try and figure out what we're going to do against the Russians. Ooh, trip, re like a rebellion in Tripoli. You guys get in and just recruit some... Line infantry and some dragoons. And you've also got ooh, a rebellion in Romelia is pretty dicey. Seamen are replenishing. Let's send the big army towards Sophia, because at least they can knock this they can knock out they can take Sophia in advance to meet the threat of the Russians here. This army's you're probably gonna auto that battle to be honest. They're only against rebels. You're probably going to push, even though it's, it's going to draw the Istanbul garrison in. You've got plenty to be doing to not worry about having to fight rebels. But you will become the Istanbul garrison, but we do want the garrison to still have some strength behind it, so I know we can't recruit any proper infantry. So we've already got a church school here in Serbia. Let's try and drop some money on. Oh, Berlin's upset, yeah. So these militia can go into Berlin. That's made them happy. And let's recruit some Chevaux Leger because they're Dragoons. I don't know. Garrison policing bonus, there we go. Get a couple of units of Dragoons. I need to repair this fleet and figure out what I want to do with it. Repair the cloth mill. 40,000. Okay, let's drop some serious economy upgrades. Especially in all these industry... Well, all these industry towns that allow us to build top-level factories and such. Let's upgrade a port. One port to commercial basin to keep that going. Yeah, that's the Brandenburg riot. I knew they were close to rebelling. You guys hold because, yeah. So you men pull out. You men go in. One, two, three, six. There's a couple of bugged units here. The general's bugged, the artillery's bugged. So if you all go in. It's unfortunate there's no, like, merge button. Do the best we can. Three spare slots. They can probably take 
You a set of guns and a howitzer unit. A new man replenish. The new Wolfgang. To be honest, this gun team can try and run down towards the, this garrison force. And what we might do, Mr. Mac, come over to cover Warsaw. Because there's a lot of troops here to the east, so you men go back up towards West Prussia. Don't get any elite infantry yet, I just want to get some get some troops to fill the line. Two, two, then get two. Break on. Good, now you can get some ooh, ooh, Grenadier Guard. Let's get some old Marines. Good. So you're going to be pretty well equipped. This force up here in Finland. Mm, don't crash. Good. Oh, well, I mean, we effectively took it last turn. We'll just take it. Let's get the capital city repaired. You chaps replenish. Put Stockholm under siege, but don't go for it now. Let's degrade their garrison a little bit. We've also got you, Mr. Gaia, over here in Norway. So let's go and take Christiana, because Christiana's quite poorly garrisoned anyway. So it was either we attack them or they'll attack us. Potentially next turn we will go for Stockholm. But really I've got to be aware of the fact I've got a lot of Russians bearing down on me through towards the Bulgaria region. So let's bear that in mind for what we may plan to do. Okay, my foot artillery is not going to get a look in. They're going to sit right back here. My guns, my howitzers fire from up close. Okay, let's actually make... So we've got an infantry center. My guards on the right flank. My Jaeger on the left. Probably put the bulk of my cavalry on the left because light infantry are cavalry magnets. So we're going to charge forward. Yes, charge. Well, actually, now it looks like. Okay. Yeah, lots of quick lime dropping onto their gunners. We're not super bothered about. Their gunners Let's just get my howitzers attacking some of these other units. Actually, they're bad targets because they're probably going to suicide into my front line. Don't care about the pikemen. Light cavalry sharpshooters gun it first. We've got some hussars here that would be nice to kill. All screen their guards, they're trying to square up with my infantry. Yeah, they're gonna get diced up. I like pikes, but pikes. Oh, yeah, go on, I had to stop to wanna get. Shoot them! Get your carbines out. If you don't shoot them. Go after those hussars. Actually, they're doing a number on my infantry. For now, I can run my Jaeger up. Light cavalry sharpshooters can be ready to fire. Haven't yet. We haven't had much fire yet from their artillery. Just mass the fire on their on their infantry formation on here. 
Okay, so they're shaking. I'm just curious, really, to see how, how well one infantry unit does. I think they're doing okay. But they have lost a lot of men, so they're at about... Not far off of half strength from one pike unit that's down to about maybe less than, less, less than a third. Oh, my men have been shot in the back too. Yeah. You men have done your duty, but you're now out of the fight. There goes the militia. Surprisingly, it's my line of June is going to route. And the. Hey, they came back. Yeah, all of my artillery just ceased fire. To charge everyone in, all of you guys are going to be fired off. I expect my cavalry is probably going to clean this up. Looks like all the reinforcements are gone. Yep, yeah, there they go. Slaughter the gunners. Not that it... No, it shouldn't matter. Ah. You men all go kill this last regiment of horse. My infantry don't give a damn. No, st stay away. They've got stakes. This and this just crank this up a little bit because my men. It's a lot of infantry here. Yep, yeah, there they go. Awesome. And there's the city itself. Well, the sound. Yeah, it's the city. Nice. And their reinforcements are done for. So we can't re repair the government building, but we can repair you chaps. Knock down the chap school. Get rid of the dockyard. Got another chap school here at Trondheim. And an untapped mine to the north. Good. So suddenly, you're in a bit of a tricky spot, Sweden. Apart from that, I think things are going okay. So in terms of tech, selective breeding next turn, so we'll see what pops up after that. Otherwise, hidden turn. Crimea is ripe for the taking. And now there's a huge amount the Ottomans can get up to. I mean, they've landed in Cyprus, but there's nothing there on Cyprus except my dockyard and one of my mines so they can do a very minor amount of damage to us there could probably do with building up my navy really to help prevent ottoman troops from having such freedom to roam <laughs> yeah the russians are aware they know they know something's up i want to spend the bulk of my money in keeping hold of Scandinavia or taking Scandinavia, bringing it into the Empire. So I can open up that flank. Oh no, my poor sloop. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Bad luck. So you're going to do some raiding, are you, Sweden? Good on you. We do have an army still in France. I'm just going to auto that against rebels and stuff. Yep. <laughs> Chances are though they, they're probably just going to start raiding. But I'm not super bothered. Pirates just get attracted back to your home territory. And if your home territory... See, they now like me. Or they, they, they can put up with me. So now their strength, the strength of the rebels, will not increase. New town, Budweiser. Cool. Let's get a craft workshop. Lots of farm upgrades have now become available. Do 
to be honest, we can probably... Actually, if I take these militia out... And where are those... Stray... There they are. There you go. That's a bit of a garrison army. Let's get them a general. Herbert Jacoby. Yeah, you can take some of the men. Actually, that's... To be honest, I like the idea of having some tier 2 forces. Thomas Kohlberg. Yeah, their job isn't to fight. Their job is just to come along afterwards and secure the... Secure any territories that we take if we are blitzing through... Ooh, Elite Jaeger. Yeah, get some skirmishes recruited. Not, not the good ones. You get some... Nope. Another line infantry. You're not going to be line infantry. You get some extra troops. A lot of farms and mines. Roads, government buildings. We're at this point now where we build everything we can. I mean, I've spent a bit there in... in... Uh, Religious upgrades more so than I should really have done. For you men, if Mr. Lauter pulls out of Istanbul and you men get in, you will hold the territory. So you're going to get two units of Jaeger, plus we're going to recruit a general for you, Sigmund Geis. Geis, push up to the crossing, get ready to combat the Russians, you men. Demand the surrender of Sophia. We are a full army. Ooh, they don't have anything, so that's perfect. That's just ripe to just break. Let's get two trading ports. And then here in... Actually, no. Go to... Oh, I don't own that one. Two light galleys recruited in Thessaloniki. Not so bothered about churches yet. So you've recruited a bunch of infantry. Let's recruit some cavalry. Get some Felt Jaeger Sophia. Curacier. Curacier. Bridge. Regiment. Taxis. When you will need howitzers and artillery and stuff. We're going to wait. Actually, I might get one unit of 12 pounders. We've got 9,000. Just a second, everyone. There we go. Okay, so we can repair this up here in Norway. We can build a church school. We can build a trade port, Stavanger. Already got a sloop up here to park up. To take it. Then we've also got fo Ooh, forestry. So we're building a church school here to convert them to Catholicism. Let's not build anything else here in Norway yet because... Although, yeah, I'm depleted. Although I've got some of the best... No, I'm going to maintain the siege. <laughs> Just because my army's depleted. And I don't want to get screwed over by their mortars. It will also kind of depend on what the progress of this fellow is. If he gets to about here, we'll have to attack the city regardless. Yeah, right now, I just want to solidify the front. You don't have to make huge progress. Can you leave Bulgaria? Minus two. They won't like it. And then you fellows, can you leave Serbia? Minus one. You can. They will just complain and then they'll get back to it. So you guys... Push on to Kiev. Okay, good. So we've now suddenly we're the ones pushing in southern, in way in you know Romania, Bulgaria. Good. We also do want to replenish you guys as much as we can. Yeah, this front's stabilized quite nicely. Although you probably want to get. 
two 12 pounders and another howitzer. Oh no, not any how no, not any more howitzers. Two 12 pounders, one to get rid of the demi cannons, and then one to relieve an infantry unit, I think. That's the thing to do there. Cool, 4,200. Let's do some economy upgrading. In theory, you probably want to own, you want to focus on upgrading farms in towns that still have, and sit in regions that still have towns that can develop. So they've gone from selective breeding to steam pump land drainage. That's still good. Construction report, a lot of stuff got built. Oh, we don't get we don't, we're not visible on prestige because we are but loadly um minor factions we don't get the the privilege to see what the big people see okay they're building their navy still i mean i didn't build my navy like i said i should but we've got so much so much stuff we can spend money on it can be difficult to focus that spending into precisely what you need and not have any sort of superfluous spending or mistakes. So yeah, military spending in the Middle East and the Eastern Mediterranean would be a good idea. I mean, you could push into mold, into Transylvania if you like. Then we'll just come at you. Oh, they're not even going to try and threaten the uh, capital of Finland. You're coming back. Have at you. <laughs> just let them do whatever. I'm not interested in rebels in North Africa. A bunch of stuff got built. I suppose the only thing I want to really keep an eye on are road, up are road upgrades. Because those aren't as easily detectable. Mr. Baghdadi is attempting to break my... Ooh, actually, yeah, you guys... is attempting to break my infrastructure. So let's get an African unit into the Naval Hospital. Let's build a... Desert Warrior unit to occupy the Naval Hospital. There we go. Then let's start building a heavy battle fleet. I, mean, I suppose I do want to put... Okay, let's take another African native unit. Send them to Beirut. Actually, that's okay. But in general, in both cities, pick up some troop upgrades because uh, I don't necessarily want to push Baghdad itself because that will just get us into war with Persia. But I suppose it's going to take us a few turns to get there anyway. Okay, there, just hold the line. Workers were on strike in Serbia, but no longer. Just get a handful of upgrades. Upgrade. The odd farm. Prague has got good roads. Okay. Stedenberg is in good shape. Let's attack Stockholm. So they've got mortars, but we're at full strength. And what's going to be fun is unleashing our overwhelming artillery advantage onto them. Because what we're going to see is a heavy horse foot artillery blow the crap out of their walls, and heavy horse howitzers just annihilate their men inside the walls. It's going to be a thing of beauty. go so then up front we're gonna have our foot guards our lieb regiment grenadiers and my mercenaries i'm gonna go in through the front door and our 
on the flank. Four units of line, two line infantry guards are going to be deployed up here in the woods to jump on this back corner. And we're going to split a few units of lancer guards up front with some horse grenade guards to provide some range support, but the cuirassier are going to be over here. They can't hide, so spread out in a slight defilade. Get ready. How oh, it says hit cease fire. Oh no, commence fire. You go after them, you go after them. This should be oh, one good hit will just obliterate. Oh my god. <laughs> over here should be similar. Oh, it's done some good damage. I wonder... Oh, we destroy the, the command HQ is going to be destroyed. Yeah, because this bit just takes a little bit of time. Although my gunners aren't shooting. Even though they have orders. There we go. Now they're shooting. Ooh. 24% in one volley. Howitzers have just cleaned house on this left flank. I'm going to let them do it. In a handful of volleys, we've lost one of our gunners. Boom. Just let them carry on, because this is perfect. Oh, 98%. Got some of them. Some men died when the wall collapsed. Yeah, there they are. There's a handful of them, but so many more died from quicklime. Jesus. Look at this guy he's using his musket to climb back up after the pummeling he's been getting. I mean, look how many men we looks like we might be able to trap on the wall. More... Yeah, okay, right. Push the wall. Otherwise, everyone's going to be dead before we get there. Use a load of shots come in. How it says focus on the breach. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Look how many men they've lost. And this is why late game siege defense can actually be a bit tricky because how do you stop the. If I'm Sweden, how do you stop them doing this apart from just sallying even when you can't or don't want to? It's lovely, from my perspective. Oh, look at all those men trapped on the wall. Give everyone their marching orders. You men hold by the gate, looking for your way in. You men just flay those troops that are in the breach with musket fire. These three, they're coming in. So is the cavalry. Coming in at full speed. Yeah, the garrison line infantry might do some good damage. Oh god, but not as much as that'll do. Run the cavalry in straight through this first line of defense. That's what the foot guards can chase after.
these men are just going to open fire. Sure. Oh, they're on fire. Well, off. That's why. Make ready and fire. Ooh, getting regular sounds. Lancer guards have been disrupted. 31st foot guards, get after that regiment of horse. Enough of this. Vader, release him. Just run straight in. If they've not got enough men to actually stop us from just running past, then we can. We can just run past. You men focus on securing the gate. Power to switch to round shot and focus on these enemies that are now trapped. You're going to hit the heavy cavalry just to tie them up. These men are getting stuck at the bottom of the wall, which is a bit weird. Kill the enemy general. So if I do this and just say, run past everyone. If they've not got enough men in the breach, we can just run through. And when we secure the gate, you men can run in. As can the cavalry. Yes, my leave regiment. My leave regiment are losing. Against against the heavy cavalry that are fighting. So let's get my lances over here. Plus my other infantry. Plus my well, my horse grenade guards. Can go after those two units there. You men charge the first regiment of foot in the rear. Hey ah! 150th. Look over and see the glorious boys of the 93rd charging into the enemy's flank. If you to win, I'd like to win this battle so we can turn against the 111th. Can you men form up? Fire at will on just to play. Yeah, those line grenadiers. Line grenadiers. Line infantry guards did not want to put up with that mess. You kill some more of these, whore, these cavalrymen. You men start to wipe out these individual units. Fourth regiment, because there's two of them. Well, there's at least one. We're just about. Okay, right, you guys get back out of the way. We'll fire will off for you guys. Then fire will on. But you don't even need to. Fire will off. 153rd can attack 24th. Then they'll spin around and attack. We well, you know what you can do. Charge up the steps towards them. There we go. Cavalry form up. Infantry secure the square. In. Go on, you men. Just so close. Careful. Easy. Easy. Don't be surprised. Ooh. Pull this guy. Oh, yep, very much pull that guy. He's down. How about you? Our line of two guards have recharged. There goes 
the command HQ, so good job I didn't actually manage to garrison it. It's my own howitzers help knock it out. They're trying to damage these guys, but it looks like they're all a bit stuck. Engaging the men up on the walls. In a few seconds, though, the city will be taken and Sweden will be capitulated. Huzzah! So the city will be taken. We can do as much development as we need to to make to get to bring the population under control. So bye bye, Sweden. Ooh, a bit of a weird voice crack, crack there. Okay, let's. You guys all replenish. We did lose that line infantry guard unit. So you men replenish what you can. We demolish this university. It is a good university, but I'm going to demolish it all the same because I don't want it upsetting the population too much. So your fleet's still good. Let's then here in Malmo. Let's build a light galley. Hold on to it. I wonder if two Jesuit... I wonder how many Jesuit colleges you need to offset one agent. Granted a very good agent. But an agent nonetheless. Let's repair this industry building. Mr. Cool, get on to Archangels to see what's going on. Can this army leave Finland? They can. Good. Secure Fort Corella. And then this army, can you guys leave Christiana? You can. Actually, what might happen is you men embark. This army land. Well, take, bring the war to St. Petersburg. Because they're going to land at the port. Okay, we're going to deal with that. Okay, first of all, you men retarget them towards Petrovskaya. But you men are going to hold. I want to see how this changes the calculus down south. So you can... Ah, okay, right. Yes. So take you, and let's take one of your infantry units out. Put the two guns in. Excellent. You men go up to towards Wolfgang. 15,000. Left to play. Let's hit and turn. Or 15,000. I've only got 15 gold, rather. Let's let our stuff that's been recruited advance. I do. I haven't forgotten. We've still got Venice to the south. Come on, then. Will the 13 colonies join you? No, they will not. Or, ooh, actually, that makes Klausenberg quite a dangerous little pocket of troops. Will we see a combined Polish-Russian offensive against my territories? Hmm. It's a tricky one. There's another, here comes another army. Yeah, they're going to land. Really hopefully, they're going to land in front of our front line. That is real nice of them. But also to be recruiting more troops from the homeland. Oh, you're going to try and outflank us, are you? Well, that's not going to happen. Firstly, is Damascus fortified? I want to say no. 
They're positioning. They're positioning for an attack. They want to make it. Well, they were. No, they're just rota rotating their forces and building up what they think they need. They're all massing on the front. Okay, right. So some of the Russians... Okay, right. Now we got to go... This is where we've got to start actual war fighting, not just hanging around doing stuff. <laughs> You're going to attack us next turn, that's just fine. 60,000 ruined by tenanted farms. So you men hold the crossing. See if you can lure them into battle. You men are ready. You you guys aren't going to... Well, you guys are probably... Can you just march straight up that hill? You can. Ah. Sigmund Meyer is probably going to hit Mr. Lavrov, Alexander Lavrov, and drive him east. You're going to hold your fort, because that's probably going to be attacked. You're going to hold near Warsaw, because we can see they're coming. So let's do some military recruitment here. Or military infrastructure upgrading on the front line. I mean, tanking in Petersburg didn't seem to do anything. So we're not going to go mad. Just go for a round of repairs. And we're going to upgrade the infrastructure because it's pretty low. The army's going to recruit a unit of Grenadier Guards to replace the unit that was lost. Upgrade the infrastructure, upgrade the coaching in. Upgrade one port to a big expensive port. You are going to go to General Hedrick Eichberg and get a, another battle army to the front. Yeah, you need get a 12 and a 24. We've got howitzers. You've crewed five. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we need... You've got your Barton, a unit of new marines, a unit of grand air guards, plus two elite Jaeger. That's ten units being recruited, so you need to free up three... Uh, four infantry. So let's take you chaps. Push them south. We've got some of our second line armies built. Okay. So very handy for them to land this army ahead of us. You're not fortified, but we're not going to build fortifications because all we're going to do is pull you men back to Jerusalem, pull you men back to Damascus. And you're going to pull back along the road. Stay within range. We're not going to do any military upgrading. You're going to stay raiding. So it appears to work. This whole recruitment thing is nearly done. Uh, you guys are going to push out of the capital and attack the last of those rebels. There you go, that's actually brought Tripoli into the fold. So now you men can make your way along towards Jerusalem. Let's repair the port. Let's get a light galley ready to occupy it. Okay, so you've actually got to take a few armies and batter away the Russians. So you men advance into the forest. If they intercept us, fine. Attack Mr. Lavrov, force his troops east. Back towards Transylvania. We need to squeeze that pocket and destroy it. But be smart. 
Be smart. We've got a good amount of capital behind us. We're not going to want to do too much in one turn. We need to keep our economy upgrading. Keep upgrading our economy, I should say. Oh, my gunners are going to be up on the high ground here. Protected by an infantry detachment. But my main line... Main line, quote unquote. Don't have that many men, actually. So my infantry detachment. Okay, they're going to stay in the centre so they can use their numbers to protect themselves. My foot guards are going to advance down the hill with the support of my blunderbuss shotgunners. Split my cavalry up. Hearts up here ready to fire. Just try target my quick lime quick liming howitzers. A front line advance as normal. It's delicious quick lime damage. Push my Freikor cavalry up first. Holland's all in behind. Guard infantry advance down the hill. Okay. See this? So, okay, it's all good. Okay, comes the enemy, enemy cavalry horde. They're running towards my guns, but they're not going to get there. Okay, right. You men. Form your line, halt. Form your line, halt. Form your line, halt. Delicious quick climb shots, but a bit close. One enemy cavalry unit pushed back. You men counter charge the hussars. Where's my general? Bring him in to hit the hussars because they're dangerously close. Push my cavalry in on the flank. Those dragoons dismounted, which was a bit foolish. We're getting involved in a bit of a delicious line battle. A lot of concentrated enemy positions in the center. Freikor maintaining that pressure on the flank, but they're going to chop up. Okay, actually go after the hand mortar company, because I want to try and thin them out before they can do too much damage. Push my line infantry up. There's two infantry units focusing on the Lancer Guards. The gunners... You all focus on that regiment of dragoons to the rear. Try to go for the general's bodyguard. Slaughtering the hand mortar company. We're definitely going to want to kill them. I knew that was going to happen. I was like, that's part of the reason why I ran my general over. I'm like, are, they gonna ch are those howitzers going to charge my guns from behind the line? And yeah the most frustrating thing when they route, they route units through your line and you're just like oh why just means I'm going to make sure you die even if I lose my general there's plenty more plenty more artillery crews and generals where they came from you men form square because you wouldn't get hit in the flank Push you men towards those chaps. Yeah, they broke my artillery, but it remains to be seen if they will destroy my artillery. 
all my guns focus on that unit of grenadiers. Their enemy general is wavering. We advance down the hill towards the enemy cavalry that wants to engage us in a musket fight, musket battle. Keep attacking their cavalry. Don't let them get away. My lot oh, blunderbuss shotgunners. Blunderbuss them! I have no idea why my sound just... Ugh, just it gets on my nerves at times. Hey, okay, everyone... Hey. Fire at will. Team are doing okay against the regiment of horse. We've pushed away an infantry a cavalry unit. So when Curacio charred their line infantry, so yeah, this has changed from you know things are going real well to actually things are a bit dodgy now. Well not dodgy, but you know. I was, I was doing a lot better at maintaining a coherent line and just having a, in general, a better position for my, for my mortars and howitzers were lost. Where's my general? So why did you stop fighting them then? You had your orders. Disregarded them like a dog. Wait, dogs don't disregard things. Dogs do as you're told. Do as they're told because they're good boys. Crossier hit the infantry. Okay. Infantry. Oh no, I've clicked off. Quick, come back. <laughs> My bad, guys. When things start going a bit mad, I'm like, oh, quick, click here, click there, click here, click here. He <laughs> accidentally clicked on my other monitor. Okay, you guys accept the cavalry. Hold back the cavalry. Damn right, we're going to continue. This heavy cavalry was just tied up for too long. Okay, go for okay, you men. Cavalry that's closest, head for the furthest units. You can mop up the likes of this unit of light infantry. You both are going after this unit. Let's kill them. And this unit needs to be pulled back and reinforced. Second life of blunderbuss shotgunners are still here. Oh, the 11th Grenadiers. See you later, Grenadiers. You're going to Grenadier no more. And this regiment of foot's definitely escaping. Off you go. Yeah, it's so frustrating when they run troops. Troops retreat behind, like, through your line. And you're like, oh, it's, it makes no sense. Yeah, they're going to make it. Bloop. Yeah, it's decisive, but costly. Decisive but costly. But well, we capped our howitzers. So you men pull back. Replenish. If you push to attack Mr. Bratis, that brings in Mr. Lavrov in reinforcement. But then that's also. It's not. I was gonna say, is it my biggest? It's my best. Is it my best army in danger? And it isn't. 
And I've got some delicious artillery to chew them up. Oh, it's just that force. Okay, that's still good. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.